the window up. I don't want to. It's Pete. How did I get the name? It's in my mouth. Your number one film, Borderlands. Yeah, Borderlands. Okay. So, uh, one, obviously, uh, got to go and tell this a little bit. I'm looking at Eli Roth as director. Uh, he bounced back after a long time. Uh, he bounced back last uh, think November with Thanksgiving. Uh, had a major hit. They're actually making the sequel to it uh, smartly, so it'll probably be out next year. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I was very glad to see him come back. He had the kill of the year, according to the Oscars. He had the kill of the year, which was amazing, uh, considering that the actress who played that played that role in, in the kill of the year was a friend of mine. So I was very tickled about that. And not am I excited for Eli Roth uh, for Borderlands, but of course, I also got to sit there and, and tell you that my main reason to, I'll, I'll be excited to see this movie is because it has my favorite actress of the moment working in it. And um, it was funny because I'm talking to I'm talking to uh, an actress named uh, uh, Gabrielle uh, Archambault last, last this past week, and she she says she says and my favorite actress my favorite actress is Haley Bennett. And oh. anybody who know anybody who knows me knows that Haley Bennett is mine as well. <laughs> I, I love I do love me some Haley Bennett. Yeah, she, she, she she's was really good in um in um uh, the, the 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 one with uh Tyrion Cyrano. Lannister last year. The uh Cyrano. Cyrano. Cyrano, yeah, that was it. Yeah. And she was great in Christie. Uh she was great in the honey of mine. She's just a really fine actress. Yeah. And uh, so I was very excited to see that uh, that she's going to be in this movie. It's you know because it's because she makes some interesting choices too, Brian. She she definitely could be in all these big budget movies if she wanted to, but her choices are so interesting. You know they really are. You know Cyrano. Uh, uh, you know uh, Swallow. Swallow was an amazing freaking movie. That is a that movie had me on the edge of my seat. It so made me poster feel is very so distinct. I did not see uh, the film. Made it, I made me feel so. It will make you feel so uncomfortable. I mean, you're sitting, you are squirming in your seat. I, I'm, I'm going to be 60 years old. Nothing makes me squirm in my seat. But I watching that movie, that movie had me squirming. I was like, oh, I just was like heebie-jeebies, and she pulled it off so well, and I felt like she deserved an Oscar for that. I, I I thought she deserved an Oscar for her, her role in that movie, uh, and she didn't get nominated. But the, but this movie here is a big-budget movie, big summer, screens, big summer. It's based off a video game. has a massive all-star cast, Jack Black, Kate Blanchett, Jimmy Lee Curtis, Kevin Hart, Gina Gershon, Bobby Lee, I mean, Cheyenne Jackson. I mean, there's just a ton of stars in this movie. Now every every saw uh, of what Eli Roth did was a sleeper hit in Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now the pressure will be on to see what he does with a big budget movie. If he pops this movie out, it makes a lot of money. That will probably push him to much bigger projects moving forward. Because um, his 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 directing career has been really been like stop and go. It yeah. really hasn't been consistent. You know, sometimes he does uh, sometimes he does acting. Like he's, it's almost like he's, he's not really sure what he wants to do. Do you he want to act? Bastards. Yeah, he was great in that. As an actor, he was he was great. Yeah. But but we don't really see Eli Roth as an actor. We see him as a director. And it's yeah. like, what do you want to do? Do you want to do one? I don't think you can do both. I just don't. Uh, I, it's just like do one or the other. And and I, and I really hope that he sticks with with directing. I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of Hostel. I like Hostel one. That. That's the one I didn't like. I like two. <laughs> I, like, I like two. I like two better than one. But the one I really liked a lot was because again he had that he had that, that sort of like that uh it had a good creep factor in it was he did Cabin Fever and oh, and um, with that, that was but he's the last spring that was uh that was really really good yeah. and uh, I don't know why they remade it though they didn't need to remake it that was so I, I that was so stupid. And that was I and the, and that was an ISC release and I, and I I remember going like nobody asked for this at all I I I got a copy I got a copy of that movie because I'm a completist but I'm never I'll probably never watch it I'll probably just stay on my shelf I have no desire to watch it it's 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 a it's a, re, it's a shot for shot uh, a re a remake of the first one 
without without the without the uh, without the good cast. It wasn't uh, it wasn't awful. I, I saw it last spring and it was fine. Yeah, it, was fine. It, it wasn't memorable, but it was all right. You know, it broke Serena Vincent out. You know, you got you know because at that time up to that point, she had been known as a Power Ranger, and then she did um, she shaved her legs and that changed that narrative really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that but that will be my number one movie. That's the one movie I want to see uh, more more this summer is uh, uh, is definitely um, Borderland for uh, Eli Roth and uh, Haley Bennett. Not so coincidentally, and uh, I I produced my list independently of yours, even though I, I had your list, but I didn't look at it. My number one is also Borderlands. I think this is, and you know, it's it's really fascinating if you look at the the. The four or five biggest cast members in this film. If you say Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Hart, and every other main actor in this film, the very last thing that I would picture them being in together is a summer blockbuster action film. Very talented cast, great cast, and I realize yeah. oh, Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett was the villain in in Thor, Thor, Thor Ragnarok. But if you're really going to say Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jamie Lee Curtis. Are you really picturing a summer action flick along well, the lines of Guardians of the Galaxy? So the fact that they're taking well, against type to a certain extent in terms of action hero stars and giving us the MCU movie that we didn't get this summer is reason number one why I love this. Why I love the idea of this film. The visuals look amazing. I've never played the video game. Yes, video game adaptions make me a little bit nervous, especially when it's a big summer blockbuster. I honestly don't care whether or not it's close or not to the video game storyline, but this looks like the Marvel film that we've all been waiting for the last couple of years. Since Endgame, the MCU really hasn't been great. I've been defending the MCU left and right. Very hard, kind of an uphill battle, to be honest. But this looks like the MCU movie that I was hoping for that we didn't get. Uh, but yet, it's not an MCU film, so that's that's, those two, those two or three reasons are kind of the main reason why it's number one on my list, and also too the fact that it's an August action film release, and yet it's number one on my list. Yeah, I guess this kind of goes to the the actor and the writer strikes that happened last summer. Normally, have we have a lot more big budget blockbusters to choose from for summer movie releases, so we're not getting as many of them this summer. I get that, but Borderlands looks freaking amazing. I mean, I, I'm looking at the cast. And I'm thinking Jack, there's Jack Black and uh, Kevin Hart. They do Jumanji. They did the two Jumanji yeah. films together. Uh, Kate Blanchett has done a lot of action films. She not only did, uh, not only did she play Hela in the Thor movie, but she also played the v- villainous in uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, oh. And yeah, so I Kate tried Blanchett, very hard to forget about that one. Uh, she the also played uh, the villainous in uh, she, in Hannah. She played the villainous yeah. in Hannah. She was really good in that. And uh, you know Haley has done her fair share of action too. She has uh she was in the the, uh, the Magnificent Seven, and she also was in uh, the Equalizer. So she herself has been in action films. Definitely some uh, some some decent some really good pedigree here. You, you're right. I mean, I'm just thinking right now. I'm thinking like there's another there's another Planet of the Ace movie that's supposed to be coming out this summer. I have zero zero desire to see that. But if I had to do a honorable mention. I definitely would have put Kevin Costner's movies on there. Um, I am hoping against hope that they do well. And, you know, there's um, a couple in there that were honorable mentions that were big blockbusters that came close for me, like um, Twisters. I watched ev- I watched every summer blockbuster, or some- every summer trailer that's available to be out right now, I watched the last, well, in the last 48 hours. And Twisters looked decent, but it didn't quite make the list. It just looked like it, it looked like uh, a it was- slightly better rendered version of the original. It really did, and, the, and yeah, I was gonna say I, I that movie looked it looked stupid. <laughs> it looked absolutely <laughs> it looked stupid. I, and the first one I had a hard time with the first one too because of that because it's so the you know they're playing them as rock and roll stars, you know, chasers. And I and I you know I was talking I was talking to somebody about that and going like, you know, what really frustrates me is you see these people out here that post videos about them chasing storms. And they're driving, and they're seeing the tornado off to the right, to the right. And they're driving. They're going, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" And they're following the tornado. And and to them, and every time I sit there and I watch that, I'm going like, "Why aren't you like? Why aren't you slowing down? 
let the tornado get your get it to get down the road a little bit. Then why don't you go back over to those houses that you watch get blown up that you're sitting there going like, I hope nobody was in there and keep driving. They drive me freaking nuts. Storm chasers drive me nuts. It's just I I I you know it's it's cool chasing a tornado one time. Yeah. You've done it once. You've done it all, right? You, you know, but it just frustrates me to see that it's like. You're driving well, a tornado, you hit a house, and you're like, oh, I hope everything, I hope, hope, hope they're okay. You know, the oh, funny thing is, I, I, I like the, ver the, the first one when it came out back in 96, and, you know, it's Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. You know, you, you can't really yeah. go really go wrong there. No. But the thing that really got me with the trailer for Twisters was that um, they're recycling the whole Dorothy thing, the, the, the machine thing, and sending the thing. Like, that was something that was very specific to 30 years ago, to the mid-90s. So, I, I got nothing against it, but the fact that that was a major part of the plotline of the trailer, I thought was, was sort of funny, and uh, honestly, that was the reason why I didn't make it onto my list. That's our list! 